So as you can see, this is a very, very lush island. Everything's growing here. Flora, fauna, insects, snakes. Yes, tarantulas. Someone asked me about that recently. Yes, tarantulas. All kinds of fruits and vegetables. Many, many trees are bearing nuts and citrus. Um, so many things. But what people don't know is that there's a particular part of the country where many of these fruits and vegetables are cultivated specifically. One of those places is called Constanza, like Constance, Constanza. It's in the central part of the country. It is in fact in the highest part of the country with the highest elevation. There's a mountain range there called the Cordillera Central, the central Cordillera Central, the central range basically. And it has been known to snow there. I bet you didn't know it snowed in the DR. It's not common, but it has happened. And you can go there sometimes, you know, if you catch it the right time of year or the right year, I guess, and find snow. So because of the climate in Constanza that it tends to be very cold, one of the things they cultivate there are strawberries. Delicious, delicious strawberries. So you go there and you can definitely stop on the side of the road. There's all kinds of vendors, like little shacks, and they're selling tons and tons of strawberries, strawberry jam, you name it, it's delicious. They also have um, everything you can think of, potatoes and carrots and cabbage and garlic and ahi, which is a type of a pepper, um, just on and on and on. In fact, they grow so much produce there that they supply that one town, Constanza, supplies fruits and vegetables for the rest of the country and for many of the hotels here. Um, I believe even some of the fruits and vegetables are shipped overseas. So it's a tremendously potent and um, prolific part of the country in terms of what they produce. So if you ever want to see something different, I highly recommend that you take a drive to Constanza. Um, it's, a, it's an easy day trip from Jarabacoa, which is another part of the town, excuse me, part of the country you'll see on this video. Jarabacoa is also up in the mountains. And between the two towns, you drive like a, or like a windy, windy, windy mountain range. You'll see some of that in this video. And um, Harabakoa is known for producing beautiful flowers like orchids because again, it's very cool and orchids are very particular about how they're grown. Um, Harabakoa is also known for having some really beautiful waterfalls, one of which was featured in Jurassic Park. In the opening scene, you'll see a waterfall that is stunning. That's in Harabakoa in the Dominican Republic. So stay tuned, check out the video. I'll drop in a little bit more information for you at the end, but if you want to see something besides the beaches and get out of the hot, hot part of the DR, go up to the mountains where it's cooler and a whole different vibe up there. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning from Hanabakoa. <laughs> we're up here in the mountains, having a little bit of a different experience. It's really nice, it's much cooler. It's gonna warm up, but in the evenings, it's really actually um, very comfortable and cool. So we're going to do a little exploring today, maybe check out some of the waterfalls that this region is known for and uh, take you along with us. But first, it's time for breakfast. So here we're in a little place called Latinaja. It's very nice. Um, take a look. See the mountains in the background?
gifted these pretty flowers. Um, they broke off somehow. Um, they won't regrow if I put them in water, but they're beautiful and they'll last, you know, two or three days. So a gift for being curious. <laughs> I love it. So I stopped at this little stand because I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've seen today. Um, I've driven from Harabakoa to Constanza and now I'm on my way back. There's a lot of little towns in these mountains in between the two, um, I guess they're cities, not really cities, more like two towns. And there's a lot of little roadside stands like this with loads of fresh vegetables. As you can see, I've shown like some of the pictures of just like farm after farm after farm. There's a lot of hillside farming. It's amazing. There's just tons of stuff that comes from this region. And um, I haven't really taken a lot of pictures of the people's homes and the people themselves. But I felt like it would just be really intrusive. And I did actually ask some of the Haitian guys who were plowing the field where the potatoes were if I could take their pictures, and they all said no. So again, I want to be sensitive to that. But um, but it's just there's like a really natural beauty here, and it's very humble. There's some homes that you can see up here in the mountains. Let me see if I can show you. That house is blue and white up there. There's some of the nicer homes like that, but generally speaking, it's really, really humble. And so, like, I'm going to show this stand here. Esa tienda es suya. ¿Ustedes? ¿Qué venden? Let's see what they're selling. Cebolla. Ayama, todo de aquí. Oh my gosh, potatoes. Pepino. Look at those peppers. Is it pimiento? Oh, that's, you know, they were kind enough to let me show that. But otherwise, you know, I don't want to be filming people. Like, look at these people as though they're a spectacle. I don't like that. So, all right, I'm hot back in the car and we're on our way back to Paracoa. <laughs> okay, so I just stopped again and I bought a big old squash like this for 70 pesos. So it's like a little over a dollar, a dollar and some change. That's gonna be good. Fresh strawberry preserves. Can you see in there? Those are strawberries, super fresh from Constanza. They're known for growing strawberries there. And I got several pra packs of super fresh, delicious strawberries. So I'm gonna give out the, the strawberry jam to some friends. And then strawberries uh, we'll be gobbling up this evening. <laughs> we already ate one pack. We're gonna eat another one because they're delicious. Sweet and juicy and super fresh. Okay, so this is my friend Joel, my new friend Joel. Tu sabes mucho de de esa finca. ¿Cuándo van a replantear todo? Cuando se acaben de sacar la papa. Pero ya sacaron todo, ¿verdad? No, falta todavía todo eso. Oh, so they won't replant. They finished. Okay, getting everything out. Y después entre sacar todo y plantar el nuevo, ¿cuánto tiempo pasa? Two months. Two months in between harvesting and planting. Y también el ¿cómo se llama? Dice Una persona que llega de moraca, zanahoria, sí. de pollo, everything. Beets, carrots, cabbage, eh, ajo, ajo, cebolla, berenjena. No, berenjena. No eggplant here. ¿Por qué no? Tomate tampoco. Ni, me, porque el clima. Sí, pepino siempre en verdadero. Ah, so cucumbers up there. ¿Por qué hace más, más frío allá? No, el caliente lo mantiene más. Oh, it's made us so lucky cold. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien, gracias a Dios. Estamos bien trabajando aquí. Sí, eso lo veo. Sí, trabajando duro. Pero están eh, sacando papas. Sacando papas. Saco, ¿Ya sacaron todo? Sí, aquí lo sacan todo, pero nos falta ah, de ahí para allá. Y, y falta papas allá atrás. Ah, sí, allá. ¿Y quién los uh, compra? Todas estas fundas. ¿O restaurantes, hoteles o quién? Eso la compra también para restaurantes, para hacer la papita. Para hacerla, la, la compra también en el supermercado. Right. En muchas partes. Anywhere. Ok, restaurant, supermercado. Pero hay unos que no sé. Eh, ah, pero ellos van a comer. Los right. <laughs> caballos comen papas. Sí. Ok, the horses like them too. That's right. ¿Y qué más aquí hay? No solo papas. En esta parte no. son papas. Allá son sí. zanahorias. Esas son zanahorias, ya. Carrots son zanahorias. Zanahoria. Y... Ya están de esa casa, zanahoria que están ahí. ¿Qué estamos a, a, mirando para allá? ¿Es como lechuga o repollo? Bueno, no, no, eso es zanahoria. Aquello que está aquí es repollo. Really? Cabbage,
Pero es un trabajo muy duro, parece. Sí, fue tu trabajo. Sí. Todos los haitianos que ganan los sacos ahí. ¿Cuántos ellos ganan por día? Eh, 500 pesos. Con comida, desayuno y le dan 500. So they get breakfast, desayuno solo? Y comida. Y le dan okay. So they get breakfast and lunch and they get 500 pesos a day, which is like 10 bucks. Wow, desde el 8 de la mañana hasta cuándo? Más o menos. Más de, más de a las 7 de la mañana a las 3. 7 to 3. Ok. Pero bueno. hoy no fuimos más temprano porque era muy. Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So, pero tiene que de, trabajar el domingo yeah. también. Tiene que de, trabajar los domingos también, es mucho. Bueno, algunas veces no, algunas veces no, algunas veces no vamos, algunas veces no trabajamos. Tiene mucho más que moscas en sí. cara. ¿Pero por qué? Oh, no hay sí. <laughs> Pero bueno, no en tu bueno. cara. Adiós. Chao, gracias. Bye. Bye. Cool. Okay, so there you go, something a little bit different. It's one of those creatures <laughs> buzzing around here. Uh, Constanza is the highest elevation in the, on the island and in the entire Caribbean. It's higher than any other point. So it's interesting just to go there for that reason because you're gonna be up in the mountains and people don't really associate an island with being really mountainous like that, but it is. It's also not that far from, from most places. So I'd say it's about maybe two hours from the North Coast. For, so from Susua, Puerto Plata, Cabarete, those places. It's a two hour drive, beautiful drive. It's about three hours from where I am in Las Terrenas. It's maybe two and a half, three hours from the capital, Santo Domingo, which would put you about four, maybe four hours or so from Punta Cana. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little different for you. Again, beautiful, lush country. Come and check it out. See you guys soon. Mwah. Bye.